So welcome to another unboxing video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander, and today we're taking a look at Downfall of the Third Reich uh, from Do It Games, which is a, a European-based uh, war game uh, publisher. This particular title is designed by Victor Catala, uh, and this is a new game. They just released this one and another one, uh, but this one's Downfall uh, of the Third Reich. Obviously, this is a grand strategic World War II game. Uh, this can play two to three players, um, but we're going to, I presume, in that case, you've got USSR, Axis, and a Western Allies, I would imagine. Uh, that's just often how these games go. But we got ourselves uh, kind of a, a short format, you know, f you know, four hour, you know, one afternoon, long afternoon, one afternoon game. That's the entirety of the European theater of World War II, pretty much. And that's what this has gone for, very high level, uh, you know, not, not a very deeply, massively complex game. Uh, if you look, you get the back of the board here, all divided up into areas, the kind of thing that you would expect from this style of game. So, let us crack this open and see what we've got inside. So, I'm, I haven't done anything with this and I'm pretty sure Grant hasn't either. So I'm pretty sure this comes with the game. As it comes with a counter tray. Is that tr Let's check the back of the box and just make sure if that's the case. Game counters, rule book, 600 die, mounted maps, technology house. Maybe, uh, well, maybe he did put this in here. I don't think so, though. I don't recognize this tray, so I'm pretty sure this comes with the game. Which would be awesome if it did. So you got some bags. They give you a bunch of bags. A couple D6s. And then a, a counter tray. These have uh, pretty large wells in them as well. So, the components of the game itself. We got ourselves a rule book. Uh, it's a rather short rule book. Full color, two columns. This looks, and what, eight pages of rules? We have scenarios here at the back. Well, this is a deployment scenario setup. Examples, examples. Lists of armies and some notes at the back. So, the rules. Description of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six and a half pages of actual rules. That's going to tell you enough about what this game is and what to expect from it. Here you got a setup diagram. Uh, so you've got here the little uh, east, the western front and the eastern front. So you're going to do all of World War. It says it's called Downfall of the Third Reich, but... This starts in 1940, so you, you, you got to do the whole war before you get to the downfall. But that's the rules. Sh that that is uh, inspiring in the sense that it should be easy and quick to learn. So we've got three uh, counter sheets. These are pre-rounded counters, and these are an extremely thick uh, card stock. This is thicker than most normal card stocks, but those have really nice. Images on them, they all seem very clear. They do have a reverse side on them as well. That was the Germans. We got the uh, the Russians or the USSR. Again, a reverse side. And then we have Western Allies. And these punch very easily, and uh, they're pre-rounded. They're attached on the center line of the counters, but those do not have a bunch of like gross center nubs, which we hate. Those are awful, but that was, you know, those look great. Then we have one, come on, two, oh no. We've only got two quick reference sheets. <laughs> don't say it's a three-player game and only give me two play aids. Don't do that. <laughs> Luckily enough, I don't think this is that complex of a game where that's going to be a big issue. But I'll give you two quick reference sheets. So on the back of these, uh, we also have two different uh, scenario setups. There's this, oh no, it's one setup, but they just printed it twice. So there is a Stalingrad scenario. So I presume this is like... Uh, end of 42 onwards, uh, so you don't have to do 40 and 41 at most of 42. In fact, yeah, look, you can see kind of here, yeah. So there's like a, 
a short scenario, which the back of the box says it's 240 minutes. So the short scenario, in theory, is going to be half that, because it's approximately half the game. So that's nice. But yeah, on here you got your little uh, developments, which are little are like technologies that you can that you develop over the course of time, and different charts and tables that we're going to use. And then finally, let's move these out of the way. We have our fully mounted map board. All right, let's see if I can get this out reasonably. Yeah. Okay, and here is the map. So the map is 22 by 34, fully mounted. Uh, and this is a very clean looking map. Uh, I think we could all agree on that. Everything here is very easy to pass, very easy to assess, uh, and extrapolate what's what. Obviously, everything's divided up into the countries of different colors, and then there's regions within those. There's terrains in some of those regions, and obviously not in others. Borders between countries, rivers, mountains, right? Th this is very easy to look at. The regions are named. I don't know if you actually need those, but it, what, if you can see, generally speaking, the names are off to one side in a lot of these areas. Very few of them are centralized where you put your counters. There's nothing worse than having the names in the middle of everything where you put your counters and you can never find what's what anymore. So I appreciate that. If that comes into play, they did a good job of uh, putting the names slightly more out of the way than I've seen in a lot of other games, which is frustrating. So, but that's it. This game uh, I'm actually really excited for because I do appreciate these kind of light brand strategic games that you can play in an afternoon because they uh, they tap a, a section of kind of the wargaming market that, uh, that it's easy to get away from. People poo-pooing things, oh, it's not a deep, rich, complex simulation. Guess what? Not every game has to be that. And not every game should be that. Sometimes you need games like this to just whip out in an afternoon with a family member or you want to do something a bit more casual. And this falls right into that. So this is Downfall of the Third Reich from Do It Games. Check this out if this is something that you're interested in. But appreciate you very much for tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.